this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is an air and cell two plate system and I'm going to be doing some testing on it. One of the tests is to see the capacitance of the plates after they're being used. So we'll take a look at that. I'm going to start it up now on the 12 volt. And then what we're going to do is take a reading across the cell. I believe one of the reasons the plates are doing so well is because of the extra capacitance that the Aaron cell provides in the spacing. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to take a reading across the plates okay okay there's nothing on the plate right now and as you can see we have over one volt it's still there with one volt you can see that you're still getting hydrogen off and I'm going to try that again and we'll take another look and see if we leave it on longer what happens Back up a little bit. Remember, there's only two plates here. This is the Aaron cell with two plates. It's spaced an eighth of an inch apart. And they're three by six inches. Now you can imagine with 15 or 16 plates, that's the standard size of what you would have. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect that. And we're going to take a reading across it. The cell is disconnected now. And I'm going to put my meter across it. Okay, there you have 132. So you can see the amount of capacitance in the plates themselves. One of the reasons for this test is because if you pulse it and the capacitance are st is still there, then obviously you're going to get pretty confused as far as your readings go. So when the pulse is off, you still have over a volt across each one of those plates. You can see how slow it's going down.
again, these plates are not connected. This is just the capacitance of the plate itself we're reading. To have that, one of those plates has to be positive, one of those plates has to be negative. If you have any questions or comments to me, you can write to John Aarons at hydrogentap.com if you like. Be glad to answer any questions you have. Okay, you can see we're still almost a volt into this. What I'm going to do is shut it off for a second and then we're going to try an experiment here. I'm going to ground this out completely. So there's no capacitance on the cell. And then I'm going to run it again. Okay, I'm grounding it completely out. In other words, I'm putting the two plates together. That's interesting. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now, get a real long view of this. Okay, put it across the battery again. Remember, that's only two cells, two plates. It's not a bad showing for a set of plates. What I'm going to do is shut it off and then we're going to take an amp meter reading across it. cooled down enough. I'm going to set it, start off again, only this time we're going to be able to see the amps. Okay. We're running just under three and a half amps, and that's what you're getting. It's not a bad showing at all. A lot of people are writing and thinking that it's the view, magnified view. So this has nothing to do with that. This has to do with how much output we're getting here. And you can see the hydrogen bubbles beginning to go down, which is showing you how much hydrogen there is being produced here. And I do have that one person that keeps reminding me that this isn't just hydrogen, it's hydrogen and oxygen. But I'm assuming that by now everyone knows that. Everything where I've been trying, everything.